We have a Snapchat. It comes from Katie. I have dark scars on the inside of my legs. They've been on and off since 2012. But ever since 2014, it's like they've been stuck on me. I've tried everything, which includes medical body wash and lotion, and nothing seems to work. I have no idea where these scars came from. I'm always scared to wear shorts around people because I'm scared they think I'm gross, have a skin condition, or worse, make fun of me. I just wish I could get rid of these scars for good. Please help me. I love her accent. Yeah! <laughs> so sweet. So, so I think since everybody's looking at me, I'll take this one. Um, so what I think is going on with Fine, Katie. I won't look at you anymore. Aww. <laughs> For $10, I'll take this one. Right, you can I'll answer it, though. It <laughs> so, Katie, I think what's going on here is this is something called folliculitis, which is actually super common, and it's inflammation of the hair follicles, which leads to these pustules and these red bumps that occur around the follicles. But I think what's the twist in this, which happens to many of us, is not just the inflammation, but it's the footprints that it's leaving. Again, dermatologists love jargon. This has a fancy name, too. It's called post-inflammatory hyper pigmentation mm -hmm. and anybody who's olive toned or pigmented has experienced this because whenever your skin has been inflamed with even a pimple or a rash it leaves a dark brown footprint mm -hmm. so I think in the photos Katie shared with us what you see is all those hyper pigmented discolored footprints from where she's had the inflammation before and I think you make such a good point that any type of trauma to the skin in certain people can lead to this hyperpigmentation. But just another reason why we're telling you not to pick and not to scratch, because once you do that, you form what's called an excoriation. I know some big words yeah. too, right? Well done. But there is some good news here, which is Absolutely. things have come a long way in terms of treatment. Absolutely, so in terms of folliculitis, what she's been trying actually, so she we saw that photo there of some of the meds she's used. One was clindamycin, which is an antibiotic that kills some of the bacteria on the skin that isn't an infection but when you irritate the follicle, that bacteria tracks around the follicle. That's what causes those pustules and those red bumps to begin with. She's also used benzoyl peroxide, which you can buy over the counter, also kills bacteria, settles inflammation. But in a lot of cases, changing your shaving habits, changing your waxing routine, that can help too. But Katie, in order to help with this, Dr. Corey L. Hartman with Skin Wellness Center of Alabama has agreed to see you to try to treat these dark scars for good. Woo! So that's what her Katie, kid, best of that's luck. an Alabama accent yes. she had. I love that. Come down to the southeast and visit us sometime, Drewski. You haven't picked up that little southern twang well, he's yet. He's a transplant. He's not originally from the mm -hmm. south. But I do love a good old southern accent. Aww. Yeah.